Hello Summit Seekers, welcome to another episode of Mountain Leader Mondays. My name is Ben, I'm a UK based mountain leader and on this series you will find information and entertainment on how to remain healthy, stay safe and have fun on your mountain adventures. This episode is all about the six figure grid reference. Um, imagine that somebody has given me a six figure grid reference and then I'm going to show you how to find that on the map. Imagine like you're with a group and something happens and somebody gets injured. You're going to have to be able to give mountain rescue where you're going to have to tell them where you are. And the way to do that is by giving a grid reference. Um, also, if you're out guiding um, doing like Duke of Edinburgh work, you're going to have to have route cards and you're going to have to know which areas you're going to and um, like where you're going to meet up. So if you know the area, that's cool. Um, however, things change out on the ground. So it's always good to have to give a six figure grid reference. So a six figure grid reference is a system that has been developed by the military during the war. And this is so that we can find a specific area within 100 meters squared. Um, and the idea is so that you could pinpoint where someone is, where something is, a feature. How does it work? So we need to know which area we're going to be operating in. So we know the area by the letters on the map. So I'm working with map SD, covers um, the South Pennines area. So once we've got the right map, we can then start to find our location. We're using the lines that make up the grid. So we've got the eastings and we've got the northings. So what we're going to do is go along the eastings till we find the correct first two digits. We call this going along the corridor 84. So we go along the eastings like this until we reach 84. Now our next two digits are 26. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go up until we find 26. Now we're at the bottom left hand corner of that grid square that is our grid square so everything up to the sort of northeast i suppose or the up to the right is our grid square that we're working with now we've got two more numbers to look at firstly the number that goes with the east ends is seven okay so if we look at the top of the page we've got these rectangular measurements now these rectangular measurements are breaking this map these these one kilometer grid squares down into further 100 meter grid squares but they're invisible on the map one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so if i take my first um number my first two digits which is eight four and then I go across to seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then I take my next two next to the northern, which is a two, six. So we do exactly the same thing again using that rectangular measurement and we go up six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can see our location is the south point of the reservoir here's the dam wall and we're at the southernmost point of that dam wall if you would like a better explanation of how the grid system works i did a video about the grid system specifically about where it came from and how it works um, i'll put it up there go and watch that and then come back to this i hope you found this episode useful go and practice that go and practice learning six figure grid references they really help if you're liking these mountain leader monday videos please consider hitting that um circle subscribe button over there hit the bell as well because that will inform you every time that i upload hit the thumbs up button leave a comment in the comment section below i will see you next monday in a bit